Hello, I'm Dr. Amanda Sathyapala. I'm one of the consultant respiratory and sleep physicians at Airfield Hospital. Hello, my name is Amna Hoda. I'm a chief clinical physiologist in the respiratory physiology department. Your clinician may want to measure the oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in your blood at night time using a Tosca device. This consists of a Tosca machine and is attached to you by an ear attachment clip and there is an ear probe that attaches to the clip. You will also need some alcohol wipes and some contact gel which is attached to the Tosca machine by a string. You will start by taking the Tosca machine out of the bag and placing it on a flat surface, for example on a bedside cabinet next to your bed. There will be a mains cable that comes out from the back of the machine that should be plugged into the wall. Once you've plugged it in, you can turn the machine on and you do this by pressing a button at the side of the machine here. You need to hold the button for a second or two before the machine turns on. You'll see the screen light up and it will say radiometer. The amber light will flash at the top of the screen. Don't worry, that's completely normal. Then the screen will light up showing that it's calibrating and it will show you what percentage calibration it has achieved. Once it gets to 70% calibration, you will start to see panels on the device. Six panels, but they will read blank because at the moment you haven't got the ear electrode connected to you. You can use the time while the machine is calibrating to put the ear clip on and attach the probe. I'm going to demonstrate on Amna. So first I'm going to start by cleaning the ear with an alcohol wipe to ensure that there is a good seal of the clip onto the ear. Alcohol takes about a minute to dry, so leave it to dry while you start to prepare the ear attachment clip. This is the ear attachment clip. We've given you two in case you have problems with the first one. You peel back the white paper to remove the clip. The clip consists of some opaque tabs, a sheet of white rectangular paper and a yellow tab. Holding the opaque clip and pushing back the yellow tab I'm going to peel the white rectangular paper off, leaving the yellow tab in place. I'm now going to attach the clip to Amna's ear. What you want to be seeing is this surface with a well facing towards you. This surface here is sticky and that allows me to attach it to Amna's ear. I'm now going to pinch on either side to make sure that there is good contact with the skin. I'm now going to place the contact gel in the ear clip. I'm going to aim for the centre hole, but it doesn't matter if the gel expands from the centre hole into the well. It helps if Amna will tilt her head away from me to avoid the gel running down out of the well. If you're not sure, it's better to put a few more drops of contact gel than too little gel. We need the gel to ensure adequate recording. Now, Amna is ready to have the sensor electrode attached. I will remove it from the Tosca machine by opening up the blue flap and removing the electrode. I will then clip it in to the well. Amna, you don't need to worry that this feels hot, that's normal. I will then rotate the clip slightly so the wire is parallel to the line of the clip. That rotation just helps make sure that the sensor electrode is in place. You can now see that there are some numbers coming up on the screen as the equipment starts to pick up oxygen carbon dioxide levels. If at any point the screen goes dark, you just have to very gently dab the on-off button and it will move the machine from standby back into active mode. You are now ready to go to bed. So what if you want to go to the toilet? What do you do? You need to unclip the sensor electrode, put it down, go to the bathroom. The machine will alarm or beep. Don't worry about this, this is normal. The beeping will stop once you reconnect the sensor electrode to your ear clip. When you come back, you will need to reapply the contact gel and readjust the clip and then you can go back to sleep. Be careful when you do this process that you don't dislodge the entire clip on the ear. 
If you do dislodge the clip, you will need to start again from the point of cleaning the ear and attaching the clip. In the morning, when you wake up, you just need to remove the electrode. Anna, would you like to do that for me? Replace it into the machine. You can now remove the ear clip. We're now going to turn the machine off. Press the on off button for about one second and it will display standby or shutdown. Tap the screen for shutdown and the machine will shut down. Please don't worry if the night that you have the equipment on you don't feel like it, you slept representatively, just make a note when you have the documentation at the end of the sleep study to let us know that. And please don't worry if at some point the sensor electrode or the ear clip comes off in the night, just put it back on as best you can according to the instructions that we've given you. We can usually get enough information from a sleep study uh, to make a diagnosis. If we do need to repeat the sleep study, we will contact you and let you know. The machine can be put back in its bag and returned to the respiratory physiology department. If it is before nine o'clock, please return it to main reception and explain that it needs to be returned to respiratory physiology. If it is after nine o'clock and before 5 p.m., please come up to the first floor to the respiratory physiology department and return it there. These pieces of equipment are very expensive they're several thousand pounds, so it is important that they don't get lost in transit. The information will be downloaded and forwarded to your clinician, and they will use that in combination with the information that you've given in the consultation to decide on the diagnosis and also a plan of action.